when you sew the, um, the squash under plastic, that's the same time you sew the dill, not under plastic. And they'll both be about, the, the dill should be the right size when uh, the Hey, it's Greg here at ThreadTimeGrinding.com and uh, I had a viewer I re just recently asked me, uh, when do you plant your uh, dill? And I'm guessing that uh, that question was related to uh, the growing of pickling cucumbers and all things regarding pickling cucumbers. So I thought I'd do a short video on, uh, I'm pretty pretty big on uh, doing uh, lacto-fermented uh, fermented pickles and I grow a lot of them. Uh, I probably did about close to 10 gallons worth of uh, fermented pickles last year and I ate them all. <laughs> I think I gave away one gallon. Um, anyway, uh, so I thought I'd do a short video on uh, how I uh, get everything going with in, in that sense. And there's still time, like if you haven't planted any pickling cucumbers, I think you could still get, even in my short growing season, I think if you put the seeds in the ground right now, uh, I think you could still make something happen by the fall. Uh, I, I, uh, I start these things usually around uh, the, the end of May uh, under plastic because uh, I want to get it started sooner because I'm all out of pickles, <laughs> right? But yeah, if you, if, if you haven't done it before and you wanted to get some pickling cucumbers going, um, uh, you could probably get it going right now if you put them in, put the seed. I wouldn't buy, uh, I wouldn't buy transplants. I'd put the seeds right in the ground. There's probably still, it depends on where you are in the growing zone and that sort of stuff. Um, but once they get going, they grow pretty fast. So uh, let me show you the state of mine right now, and also uh, my my take on when to grow uh, when to grow your dill. All right, so this is where I've got my uh, pickling cucumbers growing, and you'll notice uh, for for all of these beds, the the plastic domes are big enough to cover the whole bed. So at the edge of the bed over here, I've got this is where I sowed some dill, and I got it in other places in my garden as well. But my general approach is when, let me just zoom back out here, um, when you sow the, um, the squash under plastic, that's the same time you sow the dill, not under plastic. And they'll both be about, the, the dill should be the right size when uh, the, uh, the cucumbers are you know the right size for pickling right you want this dill to be a couple feet high and you want it to have seed heads you, you, don't, you don't just put the leaves of the dill in your pickles you want the seed heads as well but you don't want them uh, too far gone you know you just you want the dill sort of at its peak and generally speaking I find it works out well that yeah when you at least when I planted these under plastic I planted the dill let's have a look at these cucumbers All right, so I'll bring the camera in a little closer here. Let's just get this thing propped up with a broom so we can get a little closer. Um, but yeah, I got some, that's about the size of them right now. I'll show you my, I've got a big hand, but that's, right, I got three growing here, right? So I'm gonna have to separate these. I only want one, right, and I've got, you can see I've got one planted every, you know, basically two two hand spans. Every two hand spans, I make a hole in the mulch and sow cucumbers. So I got some right there, got some over there, some at the far end. So in a bed like this, um, four by ten, I've got one, two, three, four, uh, five plants aside. It doesn't it seems pretty sparse, but this whole bed will be full of cucumbers, and I, I, I'm. I grow these up a trellis about five, six feet high, and this will just be like a giant wall of cucumbers from just that few pants. And, and each of these holes, I've got like two, two planted, but I'll narrow that down to one. So places like this where they got taken out by slugs, they do, I don't really know why they're not growing um, in this one here, but places like this where they got taken out, um, when I'm thinning these ones, I'll gently migrate right those over. I usually wait for a good stretch of rainy days to do that sort of thing. So that's all the cucumbers you need. So basically, if you have one, two, three, four, five, ten plants, ten plants, 
is uh, you got to do you, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, you also have to bear in mind that these are pickling cucumbers, right? You don't just use any cucumber. I mean, you, you, I guess suppose you can, but if you want to get really good results, um, flavor and texture and all that sort of stuff, use a pickling cucumber. There's two other things aside from salt, coarse pickling salt, you're going to want for cucumbers. You're going to want, or not cucumbers, um, pickles. Um, you need, these are grapes, right? I would buy a grape plant and plant that. I don't really get any grapes off of this. The birds seem to get them all before I get them. And not only that, but this, as far as I can tell, is not a, the kind of grape you grow for just eating grapes like a, you know, snack. It's, it's a wine grape plant. I'm, I'm not set up for ma making wine at all. And this isn't enough grapes for making wine. So it's kind of useless in that sense. Uh, the main reason this is here is because I use the leaves for making pickles. Because when you put, I don't know, about three good size uh, grape leaves and with your pickles the pickles stay nice and crunchy due to some sort of chemical uh, chemical combination in there that I don't fully understand um, but believe me it makes a difference there's other things you can use besides grape leaves but um, you know get a great plant stick it in the ground and that problem's sorted for the rest of your existence <laughs> and the other thing of course you're going to need is garlic so plant a lot of garlic uh, I plant a ridiculous amount of garlic and I, I never have enough. <laughs> so this is just one place I've got garlic growing. It's, this one's done really well. Some of these are, are a, a good size, like, geez, maybe uh, three quarters of an inch at the base. These might be my biggest garlic, to tell you the truth. Another thing about uh, pickles is, uh, with respect to dill, is that um, you can really you really can't have too much dill i mean it's such a wonderful thing to have in so many different ways i mean it's nice in potato salad uh, if you if you eat fish it's really good with different kinds of fish especially salmon i mean it's just a wonderful herb to have around so uh, i have other dill growing elsewhere in the garden that i planted earlier and i got other dill that i planted later uh, it, it's kind of a weed so you can almost plant it anywhere you can, i'm pretty sure you could probably throw it in a ditch and it would grow um, so I tend to uh, jam it in with other things. It doesn't cast a lot of shade as a plant, so it's a good weed to have in with your other plants. You know, companion plant, uh, or good neighbor is the word I like to use. Um, so I'm perpetually uh, growing dill in different places, and because I grow it all over the place, uh, it tends to go to seed, and, and the seeds are all over the place, so it, it seems to just pop up all over the place in the garden. So like uh, last year, I planted all my dill uh, much too early. I, I did not sow my dill when I sowed my uh, my uh, my cucumbers and so I was kind of short on dill uh, but that was luckily for me there was enough around uh, to scrounge up even actually on my walking path there's a, a, a wood chip walking path that I take from the house to get to the garden here and I must have dropped some seeds in the walking path because there was dill growing in various places in the walking path and I guess to that effect I uh, this year uh, because I saved some seed heads from from dill just as uh, seeds uh, I planted a bunch of dill seeds just in the walking path. I just threw them all over the place, <laughs> so on the side sort of thing, right? Um, and the, that dill is coming up as well. Those are very small. They're, they might only be a couple inches high right now. Um, so that's like my backup dill. So, um, you know, once you grow dill once, you let it go to seed. You use those seed heads before they're fully, fully formed, fully matured in your pickles along with the, the dill leaves. Um, but you let some go to seed, you know, you have two or three of those uh, dill seed heads dried out. You're, you're going to have a ridiculous amount of dill seeds to use for different things. I'm sure you can buy different varieties. I mean, I'm, I'm always some kind of uh, insatiably curious about different varieties of things. So I'm, I don't need to buy dill seeds, but I usually get a new, a new, a try a new variety every year. I just can't help it, <laughs> but uh, you, know, you don't need to. Uh, if you grow dill once, you're, you're going to have seeds for the rest of your life and you can just keep replanting them and they they sow themselves they're 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 even a kind of seed you could sow in the fall and they would just overwinter fine they're tough they at least for my zone uh, zone 6a they're totally hardy i don't, I don't know where how how well they do in other zones um, but at least here they come up all over the place in my garden uh, i get them in my driveway <laughs> i kind of get it everywhere <laughs> that's that would be my solution just just litter your yard with dill seeds and uh, and there's going to be dill everywhere. So aside from planting them sort of purposefully right where your cucumbers are, I would just sort of throw them everywhere all the, all the time and it'll just come up at different times and hopefully you'll have enough. If that's the concern, you know, how do I have them at just the right stage for what I'm pickling? Um, sow them when you're sowing your cucumbers, but also just throw them all over the place. <laughs>
hopefully it should work itself out and you have enough. Uh, that's my way of doing it anyway. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGuardian.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.